Hello YouTubers, um, I make an element for this uh, this element replacement and people fix it and you know the element's gone or something like that, they say it's still not working and they suspect the thermostat and um, I had a quick look and I couldn't find any information online so I'm just going to show you how to test one of these thermostats using just nothing more than a multimeter, okay? It's really quite simple. Um, so inside here, if I just take it out, if you pull these levers back, you can remove it. Or you should be able to remove it, but it can't be done. There we are. So yeah, best use a screwdriver rather than strain your hands. But let's get rid of the uh, compact water heater. You're aware of this thing, this ridiculous thing you have to buy when the heater element, which should be a consumable really. It's a bit like an ink cartridge or something. It's consumable, they blow up. So why not just make them replaceable? So you can buy this bit, but that's something else. That's a separate video if you want to see the replacement of this actual metal heating element, okay? Rather than buying the whole thing. So yeah, we've got this you can see what we're talking about, all right? So we've got a metal cap here which goes into a seal and that's the end of this is immersed in the water stream inside the pump. And then on the back of here, it says uh, it's a T120K. I think they're all the same, 15 amp, 250 volts. And inside here are two devices. Um, there's 85 degree centigrade cutoff device, which is a safety to stop your heater overheating. And the mains to the heater comes from here, from the relay on the control board through there to the heater, to the micro switch, and then to the heater, okay? So this, when it goes open circuit, will stop the water boiling if there's a, you know, say the relay contacts in the control board have got welded shut and the thing can't turn the heat off, it'll, uh, it'll open and stop the water boiling and it's set to 85 degrees, okay? Now, the other thing that's in here is a thermistor. A negative temperature coefficient thermistor which will show up on the meter as just a resistance and as the water heats up as it suggests it's a negative coefficient so as the water heats the resistance of this sensor will go down and the control board uses the value of the resistance on this sensor to determine the temperature of the water so it basically can do 50 degree wash or a 60 degree wash or whatever temperature it wants to it can detect the resistance of this, know that the water is at a certain temperature, and then shut off, okay? So this is kind of room temperature. It's probably about 18 degrees in my office at the moment. So the first thing to do is to get your meter, get your meter and turn it to continuity or diode beep mode. And if I just, I'm gonna clip the, uh, the clips onto the right side here. I could just use the probes, but it's just easy for me to demonstrate uh, by putting a couple of clips on. Make sure you don't short out on the clips. So there's the clips fitted onto the contacts, okay? Now on the other end of the clips, I've got my meter leads here. The meter leads, and I'm just going to clip those onto the meter leads. You can use the probes directly, but I'm using these crop leads because it just makes it easier to demonstrate what I'm doing rather than trying to manhandle the thing in position and block your, your view. So on the right side contacts, you can see it in its open circuit, okay? So we've got, that's the thermistor side and we're on diode continuity, but if I switch to the resistance range, we've got, it's probably about 18 to 20 degrees in here and we've got but 62 kilo ohms, should I say. 62, you can see the kilo ohms down there. If I just turn the light off, You'll be able to see a little bit more clearly. 61.9 kilo ohms, and then we'll we'll um, we'll just do a quick test in a minute in some hot water, and I'll show you what sort of value you should expect when the water is hot. Okay, but at room temperature, it could be anything from 57 to 65 or something like that. And then you see if I put my hand on here to warm it up, as my the heat from my hand starts going through, you can see it's uh, it's counting down as the resistance reduces. All right, so that's on the type the right two contacts. That's the thermistor, the temperature sensor. This side is the safety cutout for the, for the uh, where the mains power goes through this side through a thermal cutout switch. And you can see what we're reading zero ohms, okay? And if I put it onto 200 ohms or 1000 ohms, it's reading 1.5. And actually I think that's the resistance of the lead. So basically it's a dead short because it's cold, the heater needs to be on, so that's closed, all right? And if I put it on the beep mode, continuity beep mode you can see it's beeping okay so that's seems to be working so what I'm going to do now is get a kettle of hot water and a jug 
and we'll test the function of these two uh, two sides in a jug of hot water. You can't immerse the whole thing, you can just immerse this. I'll be back in a moment. Right, so we've got our thermistor and we made a connection to this side. You can use a couple of leads or jam some wires in there or something. I'm using crock clips because I've got them. It is fiddly to hold the, the uh, meter leads probes onto those contacts whilst you'll do this. So you might need to jerry-rig somehow a couple of wires on. Imagine you can use that to your imagination. And what I've got is a jug of freshly boiled water or a kettle of freshly boiled water. Now um, it has to be you know pretty piping hot on it and you have to use enough water so that the body of the jug doesn't take too much heat out so if i just put the water in hopefully it won't steam the camera lens up plenty in there so the jug doesn't sap the heat away and if you when remember we're checking the actual thermal cutout side so put it on to continuity mode right and you hear it beeping and when the thermostat opens, the safety thermostat opens, it'll go click and the buzzer will stop. So when the buzzer stops you can tell it's working. And the water's going to be near 85 degrees, something like that. There you go, it went. So the thermostat side is working, alright? The thermostat side is working. Now, um, so, and then you cool it down. When it cools down, if you leave it on the bench, let it cool it'll click back in and start buzzing again okay you can watch that there you go so it's cooled down and it's buzzing again so the thermostat side is working the actual safety cutout right so let's turn that off so we check the that now I'll go and get some different water so slightly different temperature water and I'll come back okay so now I'm going to move the clips to the right hand side of these two contacts and put the meter on 100k ohms, around about there. Remember it's going to be 50 or 60,000 ohms we're going to read. And you can see it's quite warm and it's reading 26k ohm at the moment. And this water here is um, about 60 degrees. If you just put your fingers in, you can keep them in. Oh, and now it's too hot, okay? So you can keep your fingers in the water for four or five seconds before it becomes uncomfortable. And that's, you know, from experience, that's about 60 degrees, okay? So it's just a rough test, but it's a good test. So when I put it in the water, you can see the resistance coming down. If I turn the light off, And 60 degrees is a kind of water temperature that the dishwasher actually uses. You can see it's coming down as it absorbs the heat from the water or conducts the heat from the water and the thermistor warms up. At some point it will stop dropping as it reaches equilibrium. Make sure you don't dunk the plastic part, it's just the stainless steel part that's gone into the water at the moment. And there you can go, it's, um, it's been in there for about a minute now, and you can see it's still coming down very, very slowly, but it should stabilise, but depending on the exact temperature of the water, it'll be between uh, probably f something like 13 and 16,000 ohms. So there's 14.4 kilo ohms, this water. It's a rough test because we don't have a thermometer, I'm guessing you don't probably won't have access to one, but if it's the water is a temperature where you can keep your fingers in it for four or five seconds before you have to pull them out and it starts to get uncomfortable then that's going to be about 60 degrees okay and you can see it should read about 14k it could on your instance you know if you've got the water a slightly different temperature it could be between 13 and 17,000 ohms but it's basically working i know this is a good thermostat because it's come out of a good machine all right that is the test okay so this is a good thermostat the thermostat is working and the thermal cutout is working um and that really concludes it. Um, if I'll just zoom in on the back of it so you can see the numbers a bit more clearly, just in case you want to compare with whatever you buy. As far as I know, there is only one type. And that is there. Okay. I'll just get some cold water straight from the tap, about 10 degrees, and uh, we'll just check that as well. Now you can see it's warming up. This water is straight out of the tap, it's cold. It's a, a nice refreshing drink. It's not. It's probably about six or seven degrees. And if we just put it in there, we'll just check what it reads in cold tap water. 
I know when it gets between 10 to, to near zero, when I got this out of the uh, workshop, the, it had been freezing all night and uh, it was just a couple of degrees and it, the, the reading was pretty high. So I've been holding this for a couple of minutes. You can see it's got up to 70,000 ohms, 70k ohms. And it'll keep on going and stabilise. It's not moving that fast. I'm guessing it's going to terminate around about 75k ohms. But you get the idea, cold tap water, refreshingly cold to drink, it's not like summer tap water. Um, and you've got like 75,000 ohms, it should be thereabouts, it's not an exact measurement, but it's certainly good enough to get your dishwasher going. So anyway, I th hope you found that interesting, so you can test your thermostat now, and if you um, subscribe to the titty button down there, I'll be appreciated. If you're not already subscribed, if you are, thank you very much, and um, leave me a like as well if it was useful. So good luck with your testing your dishwasher. Uh, thermostat. All right. Yeah, me signing off.